Jacob Zuma ha c continues to up the ante around all of this. So not only did he not show up yesterday, he's since issued a statement saying he's never going to. He says that uh, his involvement with the commission, his role uh, at the commission has come to an end. He accuses the Deputy Chief Justice Zonda of misleading the nation. Uh, he accuses uh, the commission of judicial abuse and then goes specifically uh, against the person of uh, the chairperson, uh, calling Judge Zondo as somebody who's displayed questionable judicial integrity, independence, and open-mindedness required for an investigation of that magnitude. I mean, those are not light words. Not at all. Not at all. And I think, you know, if you read the Constitutional Court judgment um, and their remarks concerning the former president and how his conduct has the ability to erode the rule of law in this country. Um, I think you can see that, you know, his, 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 his words against the person of the chief, uh, Deputy Chief Justice, against the, um, the, the commission itself and its stature, um, it's completely, you know, um, basically still in that uh, belligerent state. Um, he is still actually uh, intentionally um, ruining, uh, you know, the, the, the ability of the law to, to, you know, to be applied uh, properly in this country. I mean, he, he set up that commission. He was happy with the Deputy Chief Justice's appointment. Um, he gave that commission the terms of reference and the powers, and he himself said he would cooperate with that commission. And now to turn around um, in this vault face way and attack the commission, its powers, its mandate, and the person of the, uh, the Deputy Chief Justice is really just smacking of, opportun uh, of being opportunistic in this instance. Current events, developing stories, tough questions, your voice making a difference. This is Breakfast with Bongani Bingwa.